Welcome to the Dentium USA Study Club Training Overview for our new platform for pre- and post-meeting interaction, Ment.io. Ment.io is an online interactive platform meant to engage participants on their own time outside of the typical Zoom environment. The Dentium USA Study Club will be using it primarily for pre-meeting discussion and post-meeting follow-up questions. We hope that by utilizing this platform, members can log in at their own convenience to review questions and answers instead of being put on the spot during the actual meetings. Another advantage is that this platform is enabled for multiple devices, so it can be used on any computer or on any smartphone. In order to get started, please check your email for the Ment.io sign-up link. If you don't have it or can't access it, please send an email to any one of the Dentium USA Study Club administrators listed here and we'll help you out. Once you click on the link, you'll be taken to the Ment.io login page. Please make sure that you do see the Dentium USA team invite in the green box. If you don't see it, again, please email one of us and we'll help you out. This is critical to ensure that you log in to the Dentium USA Study Club page. Type in your full first and last name, as well as the email address that you want to associate this platform with. Type in a password that's more than eight characters and then click sign up. To make the platform more personable, we do request that you take a moment to set up your profile. Click your profile icon at the upper left and choose Edit Profile. Here you have the option to change your name if you've typed it incorrectly. Below your name, please select your specialty from the drop-down menu box. Please also upload a profile photo of yourself by clicking on the circular photo icon. There's a basic cropping tool that you can use to crop the photo around your head. Finally, in the lower area, you can choose your email preferences. Once you're finished setting up your profile, click the upper left Dentium USA icon to get back to the home page. If you need to log out, select your profile picture icon and choose Log Out. The left panel contains your basic navigation tools where you can choose certain display options for the active discussion questions. For example, you can view all discussions, or filter down to view only the unread discussions. In the main panel, you'll see a list of all the discussion questions that have been posted. You can see who has posted them, their status, if they're still active or closed, the amount of activity in them with answers and comments, and the due date on the right, which will be explained further in the next section. Lecturers will be responsible for creating discussion questions based on their lecture material. We'll have between one and three pre-meeting questions and between one and three post-meeting questions that will be active in the week leading up to and the week following the Zoom meeting date. Pre-questions will be asked before the Zoom meeting and all discussion answers will be due on the day of the live Zoom meeting. You'll have one week before the seminar to be able to post your answers and browse or comment on others' answers for all the pre-questions. Likewise, once the Zoom meeting has taken place and concluded, post-questions will become active and you'll have up to one week after the meeting to post your answers and browse or comment on others' answers. Once the due dates have passed for the active questions, the questions will deactivate and you won't be able to post or comment in them anymore, but you will still be able to go back and view the conversations. To open up a discussion question, simply click on the discussion box. Once you've entered into a discussion question, you'll see the person who posted it, the question title, indicating whether it's a pre or post question and which seminar it's for, as well as the date of the seminar it's for. The gray text below the title is where the main question is written, along with any details that the lecturer has included. Sometimes, the lecturer may also include some photos or attachments to add additional description to the question. If this is the case, in the left sidebar, you'll see a number value beneath the paperclip icon, indicating the number of attachments. Click on this icon to view the attachments. 
To get back to the main discussion question, click on the Q icon on the left bar. If you're the first one to create an answer, click on the Add an Answer box and enter your answer. Please keep your main answer text short. If you want to add additional information or reasoning, you can do this below in the lower box. Once you've finished, click on Post to add the answer. If you're adding an additional answer to already existing answers, you'll have to click the plus icon next to the answers label at the top to add an extra answer. Please make sure when you're adding answers that you're not duplicating existing answers. This is especially important to keep the number of answers concise and the appropriate discussion focused under each answer. The goal is to avoid duplicate discussions, so just scroll through and check the existing answers before adding one. Answers that have secondary discussions or comments within them will show the number of replies. To view the full discussion, either click on the answer text or click on View All Replies. This will open up the secondary comments where you can see the full discussion thread. From here, if you wish to view secondary comments on other answers, you can scroll through them using the blue arrow buttons in the top middle area, or to get back to the main list of answers, click on Back to All Answers, and you'll be able to see the entire list again. If you already see an answer that you would have written down, Instead of adding it as a new answer, simply upvote or downvote that answer depending on whether you agree or disagree. If you want to explain something as well, you could also agree or disagree and post the comment as to why. Doing this helps to explain your point of view to the other members. To help strengthen your argument, you could also add a photo of something or take a screenshot, for example of a journal article, and upload it, which might help others to understand your point of view even further. If you don't understand something that was written, you can ask for a clarification from the person who posted the answer or reply by clicking on the clarification button and asking for that member to clarify something. A message notification will be sent to the person who posted the answer or response to let them know that you are asking them for a clarification. Other members will only be able to view your message if they click on the clarify box as well, otherwise it remains hidden. One of the strengths of the Ment.io software is the analytics feature. Under any answer posted in a discussion, you can view the analytics graphs by clicking on the view analytics button. Here you'll be able to see a breakdown of the responses based on general agreement or disagreement, split up into the varying specialties. This is useful to evaluate if there's different camps of thought between the different specialties on a particular answer. This is why it's important to make sure you either upvote or downvote all the answers you read. You can also view overall analytics by clicking on the Analytics tab at the top right. You can choose either your personal analytics or team analytics. This gives you the ability to check the quality of the discussions amongst all the members and see where there's strengths and weaknesses. You can also evaluate your own participation in the pre and post meeting discussions and get a visual breakdown of your collaboration maps amongst the other members. This is a great way to be able to check your activity and participation. We hope you'll find that the new Ment.io interactive platform is a simple and easy way to get the discussion started for the live Zoom meetings in a safe place to allow all members to ask questions and post comments without any judgment. If you have any questions or technical difficulties regarding the Ment.io platform, please don't hesitate to email any one of the study club administrators listed here and we'll try to get the issue resolved as soon as possible. We'll see you at the next meeting.